We're just not gonna address the giant purple stain on the yeah. floor. Okay. I can address all the fucking work I had to yeah. do, Barry. I know a couple years ago, one, a buddy of mine went and he said the line was circling the block trying to get into that Jesus. pawn shop. Yeah. Just to go to see the pawn stars? Just to go in there and buy fucking $60 coins that say, in the old man we trust, I guess. I don't know. They sell those for 60 fucking dollars. It's something like that. It's God quite damn, a bit dude. of cabbage. Like, no lie. I gotta get in on a reality TV show. Yeah, me too. Make that 20, 30k an episode. That'd be fucking yeah, nice, dude. wouldn't it? You could be like Chum Lee and have teeth that are whiter than Jill. Wow. He does, dude. His teeth are fucking scary white. Like fake white? I'm, yeah, I'm talking okay. like... It, it's clearly they, seen the show in a while. They've been chemically whitened or whatever. He's okay. had a procedure done to have them whitened. It's like hex code six zeros white. What the fuck? It's, it's, wait, is six zeros white or is that black? Maybe that... Maybe that I might have fucked that joke. Anyways, that's fucking white. Let me put it. Uh, let me put it this way. Chum Lee's teeth are so white that if he, if he smiles in a if he smiles in a room that's pitch black, you can still kind of see him. <laughs> wow! Holy there you go. shit! There you go. You come back to this room a lot. I know. Like this I is know. like the this is is this where like the center of the mansion is pretty much. Essentially, yeah. It's like a weird, a weird hub for the entire mansion. This is Jill's personal poetry room. <laughs> You need the, an eagle and a wolf crest to get into the lab, and you can't figure out how the fuck to get them, so you check the book. Then you open it in there. Boom! Look at that. You have no idea how long it took me to figure that out. There's as a, a pog. Kid. <laughs> it's a slammer. <laughs> it's because there's no indication to do this. Yeah. There's no, like, hint anywhere. You just have to be fucking around and realize that's. It's one of those well, tricks I, where a buddy has to tell you. I get, Has that book been used for anything up to this point? No. Okay, then you can might... open, you can check the other books, but there's nothing in them. Yeah. So it's literally your curiosity that fucking. Yeah, I was gonna say that day. might be it because if you haven't used the book, you would like check it to see if there's like a hint in the description, and then it'd be like, oh, open it up. Yeah. There's a place where instead of carving it out and hiding drugs, someone's put a fucking pog slammer in there. This eagle coin is certified legal tender. Have you seen those commercials? I have many, many times. And you look it up and it's like, it, the coin is certified legal tender, but it's in the country of, like, fucking Liberia. Jesus. Which is this tiny-ass island off the off of, like, Indonesia, I think. Yeah. And it has, like, a very poor economy. It's struggling, but they struck up a deal with, like, National Collector's Mint so that when they mint currency of all these stupid collectible sports teams and, and crap... It's all. It is, it is all. They, they can. They can say legally that it's legal tender, not necessarily in the United States of America, but it's legal tender in some fucking tiny ass impoverished country that is just desperate for to have their economy uh, like boosted. There's probably like a gas station somewhere where like some kids go in to buy like a candy bar and they give them the fucking light up corp like a fucking Corvette coin. <laughs> the guy there you just, go, gang. He just puts it in the cash register. I'm good for it. <laughs> just the absurdity of that to me. Damn, dude. I don't fuck around. But you missed on the first shot. Yeah, I know. That 9-11 pop-up coin is still one of my favorite things. <laughs> I didn't even know that was just, a thing. Just because of how how offensive it is. Because it's like, okay, I could see making a, like a commemorative coin for something. September 11th, yeah, there's going to be a lot of cash-ins on that. And there, there's a lot of tasteful commemorations for September 11th. Yeah. Um... There's a lot of, of tasteless ones. Some of them sold by the actual the actual memorial museum themselves, like the fucking 911 cheese tray, which is Ooh. it's a it's a cheese serving platter shaped like the United States, and there's a star on Manhattan yeah. where yeah. the attacks were, and that's that's kind of fucking dumb. And yeah, uh, but it. then there's like the pop up coin. It's like that's that's taking something that has a practical use, which is currency, mm -hmm. and it's making it completely ineffective as what it's supposed to be. Yeah. Nobody, there well, has never... Explain to me how the fuck Jill fits that fucking battery in any of her positions. You've seen those batteries. Fucking huge. Back pocket. She <laughs> hides it between that massive, that big booty. That ass ain't that big, she, goddamn. She does a booty quake and just wraps around it. <laughs> oh, God. Hey, have you seen my battery? <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm pro-women's lube. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I've checked work. my privilege. <laughs> oh, fuck. You deserve to be paid equal. I'm a cock. <laughs> <laughs> I can get in on that, too. I can, I, I, can, I can go back I can go back there and ham it up again. Uh, consent hug. 
No, I read everyday feminism too. <laughs> Don't you? I voted Hillary. <laughs> I'm with her. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> this is going downhill really fast. God damn. What have we become <laughs> over here? There's a mode disc in here, right? Yes. Yeah. You gotta put the... I'll show you. It's a very stupid puzzle. The GameCube one, they give you little GameCube discs, right? Little GameCube CDs? I think so, yeah. And the, in, instead of computers, they have GameCubes on the desks. So the light needs to be on for that to happen? Yep. It's so weird. It's a very strange puzzle. That'd be a neat little room to hide in. That's where they keep all the uh, porn books. Yeah, I think That's so. the over 18 room. I think so. Ooh, the Mo Disc. Oh, we're coming up on your favorite music. Oh boy, the yeah, the, yeah, yeah. Well. The basement full of dying clowns <laughs> farting to death. <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> it's really hard to hear because they went out of their way to muffle it as much as humanly possible. But it's Andre's favorite. Oh, this music is fucking priceless. Oh no. Oh no. Who is it? Is it on another hunter? Is he gonna get you? I'm a little spooked. Like, really? I'm here for the clowns. <laughs> <laughs> I heard there was clowns down here. I'm here to save them. I'm here to see what's making all that fucking noise. <laughs> the, the, the real horror wasn't the zombie virus, it was the clown virus no one knew about. <laughs> the C virus. <laughs> what would the clown version of Itchy Tasty be? Uh, it'd probably be d uh, written in honk. <laughs> like onomatopoeia. <laughs> <laughs> the guy that's <laughs> the guy that's locked in the in the, the wardrobe is just a bunch of deflated balloon animals around him everywhere. <laughs> he has a rainbow wig on. You find out it's not really a wig at all. He's just, he's got that fucking death stare and all he hears <laughs> yeah. little bicycle horn. Every time you shoot him it's <laughs> <laughs> I mean she does get some work done in the later game, you know, she gets at least like a C cup, but <laughs> so I don't know these things. Uh, I have some very unproud moments. Staring <laughs> I can at pixels clearly, a little yeah. too long. I didn't get laid a lot in high school. I'm sorry. You just you just what stare at like the 3D models of like women in video games and try to like try try to try to determine their cup size. It's like, oh, let me see. Let me do some measurements. Me. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking extra. It's that it's that thing from American Horror Story where it has like all the geometric math formulas <laughs> floating around. And you're trying to figure it all out. A friend of mine. uh who I'll just be out and say it, he was a huge anime pervert and he bought Dead or Alive Beach Volleyball, specifically not for the volleyball. But I remember him telling me, he was like, oh, it's a pretty competent volleyball game, actually. Yeah, I was playing it at a Tits buddy aside. <laughs> the games hadn't gotten any better. You know it's fucking bad where certain costumes are banned from tournament play. Like, I think Tina... Was it Tina? Or Wait, they have uh, tournaments for, for Dead or Alive Extreme? No, for Dead or Alive, oh, okay. the games. The actual uh, the Dead or Alive games. Like, a lot of costumes are banned just because they're too provocative. <laughs> <laughs> Which, mind you, I think... What was her name? I forgot her name. But one of them had, like, a shoestring thong. That was the one you could actually give them in the game. It was obscene. Do, do, like, the... I know... I think I know the answer to this question, but, like, do the male characters have anything overly provocative? Yes, they wear Speedos oh, okay. and shit. And, like, practically nothing. I'm like, that's probably why the game doesn't get as much slack even. as it does. is because they actually... <laughs> <laughs> One of their outfits is just a guy with his, with, with his dick in a sock. <laughs> and that's it. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if that's where it got to. One <laughs> wouldn't be surprised. He's just this guy who's like totally fucking ripped. Just <laughs> yeah. a sock just stretched over his dick. You can still see the shape of it. It still looks like a dick. It's just a dick. It's just just banana and yeah. fucking little tangerine. Yeah, it's like, it's, it's like a sock puppet. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna need one of these. Take a joint with me. <laughs> I have to. It's near, it's near that fucking fight I told you about with the fucking snake. Not the snake, the giant spider that could potentially poison me. Yeah, I need my fucking knife, believe it or not. Oh, because you gotta cut through the web, right? Yeah, I gotta yeah. cut through the web. That's yep. right. Which is fucking stupid. <laughs> I, I normally don't save right here, but those fucking Indiana Jones bits, like, if, 
Eighty percent of the time, I fucking get past it, and there's always that fucking ten to twenty percent chance where it the pixels get me, and she ends up hitting the corner too many times. Then. In the speed running community, we call that a bonk. Really? Yeah, where you hit the wall. Yeah. You bonk. Now, I won't think any less of you for saving. I was fucking amateur. <laughs> <laughs> fucking lol cow. <laughs> Look at this fucking lol cow right here. I love you too, man. Fuck. These walls are no, made made from wet newspaper. I don't know. Paper mache. Yeah. I didn't realize this was on a shoestring this, Ed Wood budget. This is the alligator butthole room. <laughs> alligator colon, is that what we're going to call yeah, this stage? the alligator colon. In fact, if you save on that typewriter, it says that. AC colon? Yeah, gator colon. Ooh. Barry! Oh, Jill, what good timing. A moment ago, I heard someone's voice coming from this hole. Coincidentally. Let's go together since it's dark. The butt we can't whisperer. see very well. <laughs> I heard the whispering anus. Okay, okay, you have to say go. yes. Go with okay. me. Okay, then I'm gonna cover you. Let's hurry. <laughs> Did someone hey, just fall asleep on the strings over there? I can go first if you want me to. No, Barry. Then you say no. Okay, let's go, Barry. I'm depending on you. I said no, right? Yeah, you said no. Okay, you have to say no because of this one fucking scene, which is really dumb because he'll kill the creature in this room. And then when you leave the room, it'll be right back. So he didn't fucking do anything. The game just fucking teases you. <laughs> it's fucking music, dude. <laughs> Here it comes. Even Barry's like on fucking god mode. He's like fucking <laughs> best gun, infinite ammo cheat. And you're like, what the fuck? Barry Burton. Are you with anybody, Jill? <laughs> Me? Wait, what? <laughs> I'm Chris Hansen with Dateline what? NBC. Oh, yes. <laughs> God, I miss that show so much. They don't make them like they used to. <laughs> they don't make that show at all anymore. You could... So, Barry and Jill together. I like how the two people of color die in this game. Oh. <laughs> Kenneth and now Enrico. Right, Enrico. It's clearly not... Rico uh, Suave. American. The stars are doomed. Someone is a traitor. Everything was plotted from the start by Umbrella. Uh oh. A well timed shot. <laughs> T20. Uh, <Nah>. No scoped. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that was so legit. Net <laughs> uh, 20. Barry is investigating. Barry. Right, he Barry. got shot. <laughs> what is there to investigate? There's, yeah, that's he it. He fucking died in front of us. Case closed. Shit like that will fucking change a man. Well, how convenient for the fucking game. Good thing Jill uses her expertise in electrical engineering to figure that one out. Yeah, I didn't realize she was an electrical engineer <laughs> and just Glances was over. on stars on the side. <laughs> you know? This is my hobby. Come on. I study generators just as a just as an in between thing. Yeah. Just, this is like when I'm on lunch. Yeah, I'm not only the master about, of yeah. lock picking. Oh, shit. Ooh. <laughs> Fuck. Oh, dude, dude. You're fine, don't worry. So what are the hunters supposed to be? They they, they look like lizard-frog hybrid They're people. They're reptilian DNA mixed with a human fetus. So it's a, it's a furry. Well, I, I guess. A very terrifying monster furry. But yeah, so it's yeah. a furry. Yeah. <laughs> Out of everything that was made in this game, like as a bioweapon, that was the most successful creature that was made. What about the one that, like, Wesker jerks off over at the end? That, oh, was not, that was not the best? It was, but they had to keep, like, remaking it, making it better. Like, Mr. X from the second oh. game is a modified version of him, like, the second generation. But, I mean, from, like, start to finish, um, the hunter was pretty much a perfect creature. And you have to go, huh, well, I guess it's nothing. I guess it's stuck there, because how can it move without being pushed on a horizontal surface? Oh, no! Oh, no. Oops. <laughs> That's how fast it is to die. If you don't know what the fuck to do. And you're like, ah, oh, fucking dog shit, man. That was uh, spoopy. Giant rolling boulder. Uh, not one of Umbrella's most successful <laughs> creations. Just want to throw that one out there. Just, yes, in, case, just in case you're watching at home. And this guy's like, hey, buddy, you got some candy? In I heard a rock. <laughs> Well, that sounds there important. Fucking bitch. Uh oh, caution. <laughs> God damn! Keep in mind that was the best gun in the game. <laughs> oh shit! That's fucking horrifying. 
Yeah, every spider does this, actually. Yay! Wasn't that great? That was that was. I mean, there's literally a knife where that where it was sparkling in the yeah. corner. There's a knife right there, but it's like, am I really gonna have the inventory to fucking have the hindsight? I mean, I know there's a save room right over here, but come the fuck on, man. So you still haven't used the eagle medal yet. You still need that's in the future, right? Yes, that's actually coming up. I just gotta find the other book, which I, it's where the crank was, where I was having trouble getting it to turn. Where's the rock? It's the rock. And this is the little fucking spot you have to run to, if I recall correctly. You got this. I'm about to find out. You got this. <laughs> the game won't let you cheat it and, like, kind of <laughs> drop the fucking rock in the, that pit, as you can see right there. You like, got this. You got it. Oh, I did. There it Fuck. is. Fuck. Sorry, it always scares me. Remember that? Do you remember that skit? Remember X Play? Remember that show? Oh, I loved X Play with Adam Sessler. I followed yeah. him on Twitter. He's a funny cat. Remember the skit they did with uh, the Resident Evil camera angles a long time ago? Oh no! I they know. were like they were like trying to walk around the offices, and then they would have like the camera up in the top of the bathroom, like pointing down. But then like when they would walk far enough, the camera would be like way down on the floor, pointing <laughs> upward, and then they would like stumble off in various directions because they were holding the directional pad. No, I don't pad. remember that at all. It was funny. I think you should go across it now. I agree. I should just play uh, Pitfall and fucking take my chances. Who builds this kind of shit? God damn, Jill, do some fucking curls or something. God damn. <laughs> the thing I like the most about Jill Valentine is she's got an ass like a Dyson vacuum. <laughs> I don't even know what the fuck that means. <laughs> I don't either. But it must be good, I guess. <laughs> Woo! Well, I died. So what are we doing here? What's the... Uh, there's a button somewhere. The button is right on the wall next to the uh, gargoyle. Okay. Come on, Jill. There's a hexagonal hole. <laughs> Fucking <laughs> crank! <laughs> really, <Hey>, Jill? <laughs> they really want to get their money's worth at this crank. So there's a hexagonal crank. What's this? Well, okay, glad we have that fucking established. Use the goddamn crank, Jill. Realistically, why would what 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 necessitates the construction of something of this caliber? I'm questioning that with this entire underground segment. It just <laughs> doesn't make any sense. Hey, you see, shove it in the hole. Put it on the platform. I like that oftentimes people talk about how they would react in situations like this, like we're talking about this beating shit with a sledgehammer. Oh, yeah. And here's the second Doom book. The second yeah. book. Yeah, I'd probably be dead. I'd probably be Kenneth or Enrico, which I don't know how the fuck he got there. I had to bust ass with keys and fucking bosses, and he's just like, oh, hey, what's up? I would have found a way to climb to, like, a higher ground and get away from everything. Uh, I just stayed in that room I mentioned with the fucking emblem. Yeah. <laughs> just plopped it off and been like, I'm fine. I'll put a sticky note on and be like, hey. <laughs> I'm, I'm in here. Yeah, I'm, I'm in here. Knock no three itchy, no tasty. No dead inside. Knock three times. Hopefully I'm alive. <laughs> if, uh, <laughs> if, uh, Varka from Bad Dragon was a playable character in this game, he would have an, un un an unlimited inventory slot. He'd just hide it in his ass. <laughs> How convenient, I guess. You could just have his his inventory would just scroll down. It'd be like having the box. There's one emblem. I have to grab the other one. <laughs> Goddamn crank away! <laughs> I'm at the end of the game. The lab is the end of the game. You remember? Yeah. It's just the mo discs that take forever. Like, because you don't have to do them. You don't have to. Yeah, but you got to get more money. Yeah, I got to get the best ending. More so money. I can get the more secret problems. costume in the rocket launcher. <laughs> 